Normally, when we're making metal products, we start with liquid metal, which may have come from primary sources, which are ore, or from secondary sources, which is recycled scrap. And both of those require a lot of energy. Um, so we start with this vat of liquid metal that's uh, taken a lot of energy to produce. And we cast it, and then we uh, do various downstream processes to make something like a, a coil of metal, a coil of sheet. Um, and then we give that, or that gets sold to fabricators who will cut bits off the, the sheet to make the products that they want, so like a car door, for instance. If we look at the, the Sankey diagram of mass flow in the aluminium supply chain, we can see that getting to a regular sheet product is actually quite efficient and you don't lose very much metal. But as soon as it's handed over to the, to the fabricators or the manufacturers, they cut lots of metal off and it gets recirculated round back to the recycling stage. And it's at that stage that you're putting a lot of energy in to remelt to get to liquid metal and then putting it through that, that chain again. So you actually have maybe 30 or 40 percent of all the metal that you cast continuously circulating, circulating round in this loop of endless recycling without ever getting to a product. So we, we identified this discontinuity in the supply chain where the metals industry was making something that the manufacturers didn't actually want. Um, they didn't need a coil of regular width sheet. Um, so we thought, how, how can we make a, or how could we cast the outline of the products directly? Um, so our modification to the twin roll casting process has been to mount an electromagnet around the feed tip and it pushes on the liquid metal during casting. So we can move the electromagnet and therefore move the liquid metal and that changes the width of the sheet that we get out at the end. Proven that the technology works on a laboratory scale, um, and then the next steps are to, to step it up to something bigger. So casting full-size sheets, changing the width, and investigating how that affects the, the properties of the metal and the, the consistency throughout uh, much longer casts. With further development, we could easily see this process being used for car door panels um, and other irregular uh, ships. If you think of the existing supply chain as sort of subtractive, so you start building up this regular product and then cutting metal away right at the end um, to get the actual uh, finished product that you need. Our process is actually aiming to get the product right first time instead. And that, from an energy point of view, that's the best way of doing it.